Great to have you along for the ride. Thanks a lot for stopping by the Joe Pag Show. Great radio stations across the land from San Antonio, also Patriot.tv, all the social outlets as well. It is the Joe Pag Show coming your way on a Tuesday. It's been an, an incredible week already, so much so we have a very important guest right now. It's U.S. Senator Marshall Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee. Back on the program, Senator, good to see you again. How are you? I am doing well, and it's always good to be with you. Thanks. It's always a pleasure. Before we get out of here, I've got to ask you if you can define what a woman is. Which, because, of course. <laughs> of course. Who, who can? It's an adult female human being. But but for some reason, we've got one of our nine justices doesn't seem to understand the answer to that question. But all that aside, let's talk about Kim Cheadle. We had somebody running the Secret Service who had a history of being in the Secret Service, then went to Pepsi. Uh, the rumor is she's friends with Jill Biden, got the job somehow. And yesterday was defiant, barely said anything in, the, in that oversight committee meeting, and then suddenly today resigns after saying she wouldn't resign. It's the right result, though, isn't it, Senator? She should resign. She should have been called to the Oval Office Saturday night after the shooting, and her resignation should have been demanded at that point in time. She should have been fired. When you have a Secret Service director who 10 days after the incident has still not been to the site, has not reassembled the team of local and state and federal partners that were working with the Secret Service when she still cannot answer basic questions about the timeline. They identified a suspicious person an hour out. Crazy. They identified him after they, they lost him, then they found him. At 551, they identified him as a potential threat. At 5.53, the sharpshooters were notified. At 6 o'clock, somebody in the Secret Service cleared Donald Trump to go on stage. That's and, an important It's an important point. He cannot walk out yeah. until they say, sir, it's all clear. He walks out, okay. and everybody in that circle should have known there was somebody right there. I mean, we saw him walking around with a rangefinder. He somehow got through security. People were watching him. People saw him on the roof before he takes the shot, and they were yelling for law enforcement. Marsha, what do you think happened here? It is a colossal failure, and the thing is, Joe, as I have said, this isn't like... I missed my casework quota numbers right. or I missed my sales quota. When the Secret Service that has one job, it is to protect the protectee, to protect that individual. That's it. When you mess up, people die. And yeah. that is what happened with the assassination attempt on President Trump. It's uh, U.S. Senator Marsha Blackburn. Go to blackburn.senate.gov. She, of course, the great state of Tennessee. When you watch the reaction from the administration, it was not what you said. It was not you're fired that night in the, in the Oval Office. It was the president has 100% confidence in her. Mayorkas has 100% confidence in her. Nothing to see here. Everybody's fine. But as you said, you know, but for President Trump turning his head a little bit, he'd be dead today. And that was their only job to make sure that he's not dead and to identify a target. So right. now that she's out, and again, she should be out, she's incompetent, you still have to have follow-up, both in the House and the Senate. Right. How do we find out what really happened that day and how we never had that happen again? Well, we are going to have a hearing in the Senate next week. I think it's going to be on Tuesday. And people can follow me on social media and follow along with this hearing. We have to have answers. Joe, the deal is this. We've got to know, is this systemic? Or was this a one-off? Right. Are they working advanced planning plans and memos? Are the, do they have an operation plan? What are those documents? We still have not seen one single document. We do not know what their advanced planning was. We do not know if they have a, a, a process, a best practices right. that they go through every single event which of course they should. The Secret Service protects all of our, our president, our vice president, all of our former presidents. Right. They are responsible for those presidential families and they're responsible for individuals in the administration that are incurring death threats. Yeah. It's Senator Marshall Blackburn, great state of Tennessee. You know, 
I'm not suggesting that anybody in the DOJ or that the Secret Service wanted something bad to happen, but I will say this. They purposely gave him a lighter uh, security service detail than they should have. Most of the people there that day, and you probably know this already in Butler, were HSI. They were not Secret Service. They were federal agents, but they're not trained the same way Secret Service is. And for God's sakes, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. was not offered detail when his father was killed by an assassin's bullet. So what's the mindset, do you think, from Mayorkas, the head of the DHS, or from Cheadle, who is his underling, who was the director of the Secret Service, in not providing enough um, protection for these men? It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense, and that's one of the questions that we have. We know that the First Lady had an event, uh, I think on the same day. Yeah, in Pittsburgh. Her detail, her, her detail was much larger than the detail for President Trump. What we want to do is make certain that each of these individuals is being properly tended. Yes. When they ask for additional security, President Trump has a death threat on him from Iran. And we found that out as we were going through what happened in Butler, Pennsylvania. We find out that there's also this death threat that is there, right. how could they diminish his detail knowing that he is in a public venue and that needs to be a point of consideration. Yes. And to know that AGR building, they had no one there, the water tower that is within that outer perimeter, they had no one there. And you think about the vulnerabilities and still somebody from the Secret Service at six o'clock, told him he was cleared to go on stage and no one mentioned to the president's team that they had a potential threat within the perimeter. It's just a colossal, you know, um, either mistake or something else is going on. But you're right with Iran, you know, making this threat, you probably cancel an outdoor and open ear, uh, an open air uh, you know, uh, rally where you've got hundreds or even thousands of yards of visibility yeah. down this big field. It's Marsha Blackburn, U.S. Uh, US Senator, great state of Tennessee. We'll get into the Kids Online Safety Act in a second, but I've never seen a news cycle like this. As you know, former television news anchor, I've won tons of awards in journalism. I've covered stories for 35 years. I've never seen anything like what we're seeing now. The assassination attempt, then the RNC, which was dynamite, him coming out and saying, you know, God save me, let's let's save this country. And now you've got Joe Biden. I'm going to stay on the campaign trail. I'm going to stay. I'm the nominee. I'm the nominee. No, I'm not the nominee. And I'm going to endorse Kamala Harris on suspect um, uh, stationery over the weekend, online only. Now he's going to make some announcement tomorrow night. Obama has not endorsed Kamala Harris. Marshall, what the heck are we looking at here? This is This is the craziest thing I've seen in three decades. And what we have seen is the Democrat Party has disenfranchised 14 and a half yes. million individuals that voted in the Democrat primary. But what has happened is you basically have the party bosses, Pelosi, Obama, Schumer, and they've pretty much told Joe Biden, hey, you're out because your poll numbers are really bad and you cannot win. But that's you not know, a reason. You, that, like you said, 14 and a half million voters said we want him. It doesn't matter what these other people think. Uh, Marsha, are we seeing selection rather than election? Is that what we're seeing here? That's what the Democrats are doing. Wow. They decided Joe could not win. So they pitched him over the side. They said, we're not going to let you run. And I have found it so interesting that some people have said it's been reported that Pelosi said we can do this easy or we can do it the hard way. Wow. And for that type of dominance from a few elites in their party that would disenfranchise all of those voters and say, Joe can't win. His polling is bad. We're going to bring in Kamala. Now, Joe, it's going to be interesting to see if her polling is bad between now and the convention. Because, you know, she polls worse than Joe Biden. She does. And if her it's crazy. polling is bad and her favorables are through the roof, maybe they're going to pitch her by the time they get to the convention. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with this. 
It is, and, and hopefully you're going to be on top of this, as I know that you will be. It's Marsha Blackburn, U.S. Senator, great state of Tennessee. Let's talk about the Kids Online Safety Act. I know you've got a vote yeah. coming up, but I, I wanted uh, to bring this up. It's bipartisan between uh, Blumenthal and you, and uh, I've got five children. I'm all ears. What, what, what would this do for me as a parent? What this is going to do is to require social media platforms to establish a duty of care and to open their black box algorithms and to have a toolbox for kids and parents so that they can manage their presence online. Right now, these algorithms, within a couple of minutes of being online, the things that kids are fed is astounding. And in this country, we've decided there are certain things that children ought not to do. They can't drive until they're 16. They can't be taken into a strip club. You cannot sell alcohol or cigarettes to a kid. And online in the virtual space, there are none of those protections for kids. And you see that children are being marketed to. They're meeting drug dealers. They're meeting pedophiles. They are ending up with eating disorders, the mental health issues that some of this virtual space causes. You know, it's time to put some protections in place. And that is what this bill does. In our society, we've been trying to protect kids since the the start of time. For some reason, with these online platforms, they stopped doing that. We stopped protecting kids the same way. I'm so glad that you and Blumenthal are doing this, and I appreciate you making time today. One last quick question. I know you've got to go vote. Um, what do you suspect or expect that Joe Biden will say tomorrow night when he hits the, uh, the air at 8 p.m. Eastern time? He's making some announcement to the country. Is he going to drop out or resign as president, do you think? I don't think he's going to resign as president. I think he's going to stay and finish his term. I think he will probably give his explanation as to why he has decided not to run for another term. You know, it takes them a few days to kind of get their story straight because they can't say, my polling is so bad, there's no way I cannot win. Yeah, and and, and maybe he'll say there's a medical issue because you can't, like you said, you can't say, well, my my polls are bad, so I've decided to tell all the voters that voted for me, forget about it. So do you think that he'll talk about a medical issue? I have no clue. Yeah. I'm going to let the Democrats sort their own mess out. And it's a mess. And you know what? That's okay yes, because is. I think those of us on the right are not having a mess. And we've got a really, really solid front right now, especially with you, you uh, with you with us. Senator Marshall Blackburn, U.S. Senator, great state of Tennessee. Thanks for making time today. Let's do it again soon. Thank you. You got it. Bye-bye. All right. We're back after this. Stay right here.